I don't like this kind of video. What's up, my dudes? Suck my dudes? Suck my dudes? I'm not saying suck my dudes, I'm saying suck my dudes. Today, I'm gonna watch. What are we watching? Bizarre Bub. Bizarre Bub. He looks like Mr. Freeze. Anyway. We're gonna watch Scary Comp number 12. There's another one of those countdown videos. Let's see if this one has a good narration and a cohesive story. I don't know. Here we are again in my darkened room. As you can see, I'm all alone. Here is my reflection behind the camera. Hi, reflection. You okay? Cool. Yeah, I'm watching you. Anyway, let's get ready to watch this video. See how scary it actually is. Put you on the best quality. We want the 1080. Reddit user Sir Squid posted the following video. That's like a. Um, you know like uh, when people are babies, you can get this chair and it rocks rocks you very easily. Like, of course you put the effort in uh, to make a move, but it, it, it makes it a lot easier to rock when you've got the baby in your hand. I think that's one of those chairs. So don't confuse this for like an old person's rickety old chair. Hello, my darling. I've got some cookies for you. That's a creepy grandma, ain't it? <laughs> ain't it? Okay, anyway. Oh. Oh, but. How the rocking chair stopped seems as though someone stood up from it. Perhaps it was a dog. No. Spirit. To me, that felt like somebody was rocking and mid rock just decided. Okay, I'm gonna stop. And then you can see it gently comes like forward again. But yeah, I would agree that they got up and possibly did that. That made me jump. I was expecting like a jump scare. And <laughs> the fact that I was anticipating it, like for some reason made it even worse. <laughs> like when something happened. It can be such a relief when you capture on camera what many people have doubted to be true. Especially that guy. The back hat. The back hat with its Sybil Duran hat from the 90s. Yo. Especially those you told. Such was the case for Reddit user Project Bad, who captured the following on camera. Something. Ah. Heart. Each heart. I'd have to look a read. A lot of knickknacks, aren't there? This is very suspicious looking. Just a table with like small random objects, a balloon, a board on the edge of the table. But pretty much everything's on the edge of the table. I guess it's a trap. It's a ghost trap. They're trying to catch this ghost. They're gonna get it no matter how hard, how long they have to wait. How hard they have to wait? How long they have to wait? They will set this ghost up. This is ghost in order. Oh, I don't know. It's sus. Project Bad writes, I asked the spirit in my house to knock over the giraffe. No strings or anything. Just a straight up response from the other side. I've been telling people for months that things happen in my house that I can't explain. And I started filming my house and caught this. Why did not get 
like these kind of videos is why is it always always at the angle the film is recorded in it's in such a bad place like he's put he's he's set this up right he set it up so that you can capture this piece of evidence that you know he's been wanting to get for such a long time whatnot why would you put the camera angle like looking looking up like that why wouldn't you film it down do you know what i mean so you can see the top of the table you can see everything no one's touching it blah 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 fell on his son why what why this this kind of stuff lends to people being sus of these people like who record these kind of videos because do you know what i mean like why is why would the ghost be thinking oh i don't want to get captured you know what i mean i'm gonna peek, i'm gonna peek around corners to see if there's a camera there oh damn i don't want that camera seeing me like i, I, I don't get it why would why if there's a ghost there just it's very like I don't know maybe I'm thinking too much about it it's just I find it annoying <laughs> like be true to the art you're gonna capture this ghost upload more videos you're gonna capture this ghost capture it top down top down the, the giraffe is on top of the fucking table it's not underneath it top down yeah and maybe have two cameras three cameras you know one behind one you know you're trying to show evidence I mean, anyone's gonna say ah oh, it's it's got a shit leg you just balanced it long enough so while you recorded it, it fell over or you know uh there was a string that got pulled from behind there's somebody behind whatever the hell the table and the sofa or whatever you know there's like so many ways people can debunk this they wanted to just like do more slides of it could it be that it's not true Kevin Coger lives at an apartment complex that's been there since who knows when. It's a cool looking art. It's pretty cool. It's been up for a while, that's for sure. And it's for this reason that Kevin thinks his apartment is haunted. Kevin states that he hears strange noises at night. But the creepiest thing he's encountered so far was the following incident he captured on camera. That is a nice looking piece of art. Deep smoking a ciggy. Oh yeah, ah. Cigarette smoke. Very cool. I think it's, I think it's like a banner, like a, it's made of cloth. Very nice. Mac Miller, oh Mac Miller. Yo. Bruh. Bruh. Bro. Bro. I'm I'm out, bro. I'll be honest with you. Like, <laughs> there's people in the house. Yeah. If my door opens, like, even though I know there's people in the house, the door opens because I'm like in the zone right now. I'd get scared. I'd be like, oh shit, jump scared. Now this dude seems his his cupboard door opened up and the guy is excited guys oh shit. like oh. what's wrong with the reaction of people these days scary happens you get the f out of there I don't, I don't even know. I'm out. No. Okay, okay, he did get the <laughs> Oh, it is, isn't it? The door opened and the guy runs there next to the wall. Like, is it? I think there was a door behind him. Like, if it was me, 
yeah, maybe I'd run to the door and open it and be ready to bolt like if something comes out of the cupboard. You know what I mean? So this guy stands at the corner himself. It's like we need to release manuals on how to react to certain situations. But then again, you know, I've been in situations where I knew I should be running or at least fighting back. You know, like a do would just stand there. Maybe your body doesn't always know. Even if your mind does, your body doesn't always know what to do. Okay, fair enough. I might be being a bit harsh, uh, but okay. Number seven. Gavin Watts was using Google Ooh. Earth to explore the cat. What? The combs of Paris. Google, what? You can use Google Air to go into the catacombs, the catacombs of Paris. I need to see this. I think this is bullshit. <laughs> How do you get into the catacombs? Alright, we'll believe you. It was in Google Maps and went into the catacombs. Which is a place that is known to be haunted. Knowing this, Gavin wasn't surprised to see the following image that was captured. Have a look. It's pretty spooky. But this might be a spirit or some entity. This is the catacombs after all. If you don't know what that is, then I highly suggest you look it up. It's pretty terrifying. And definitely check out As Above, So Below. It'll for sure leave you feeling spooked. I watched, um, there's a, there's a channel called uh, Fanflix. Think? Yeah, Fanflix. Uh, I'm bad with names and everything, but that I think that is the YouTube channel name. There's a guy on there and he does like a, he does a really good like synopsis. Um, not synopsis, analysis of these kind of films and uh, he'll tell you the twists and turns and plot, plots that are happening that you might miss. Um, so if you like digesting a film in like 20 minutes to half an hour rather than the full hour and a half or two hours then I would suggest doing that because that's how I watch some of my like films. I don't want to, like if it's Marvel or something, I, I'd go, you know, cinemas. Uh, I like, you know, one in the morning to watch um, Infinity Wars and Endgame. So like seven in the morning, that's fine. <laughs> but uh, these kind of films, I just watch them on his channel, Top Notch. And, uh, and he tells it in a very interesting way, as in it keeps you engaged. But I watched, I watched this video, uh, explanation of this is really interesting reddit user notorious went straight to his garage after hearing noises that were coming from there dude clean out your garage <laughs> holy the f look at the mess Snapchat, talking to his fiance about the strange noises he was hearing trying to and like understand what the hell i'm looking at They're like a boat in the back Place is massive. You're just wasting it with like a pile of shit in there. Okay, oh, people are hoarders, man. Get rid of that. Shit. In the hopes of capturing something strange, and to his yeah. surprise, he did capture something unusual. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if I even believe him anymore. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Oh, shit. it's a cat. No. Something pushes the sleeping bag off the shelf. Notorious has stated that his dog was at the garage. Oh, it's a dog. Okay, far away from where it was at, so it couldn't have been his dog that accidentally tipped the bag over. Others have stated that it might have been a rat that was passing by. Although that might be a possible explanation. 
I just don't think that's what happened. As always. What do you- I, I, I thought it was a cat, but I'm gonna blame that dog. Because literally, it fell, then it took him five seconds to walk around, and then it came into shot, and now it's come to the left of the guy. Simple. Call me. I can solve murder mysteries. Or ghost mysteries. It isn't often the case that a ghost takes on the form of an actual human body. Rarely do we see videos of such spirits. We usually hear about them in stories or personal experiences. Don't but jump scare me. Might be actual proof of a ghost manifesting itself as a living, breathing entity. Check it out. It's pretty creepy. Oh, I don't like this kind of video. Tommy Otto Orange, the person recording this, was dancing in her bedroom when out of nowhere, an apparition of what appears to be a girl manifests itself right behind her. Maybe this entity wanted to make its presence known, and it could only do so through the lens of a camera, as for some reason, cameras can detect but human eyes can't. Of course. You better not show any behind me, okay? <laughs> I don't want to be sitting here recording videos and then behind me when I edit this later there's a fucking ghost or something. That, that is a girl with long hair. Scary. Uh, only in this kind of setting, I mean. But the way, the way that head like stays straight but like then moves down. That, that's creepy. Okay, okay. Like chills now. Chills. Siren head, siren head. Um, this is merely a theory. But I'd be interested in hearing what your thoughts are on this. What's, what's with this TikTok? Like, people doing weird ass dances. Soon enough, you'll find me on there. <laughs> if it's still around, I don't, I don't know. You'll, you'll find me on there doing a dance or two. I wouldn't suggest watching the following clip unless you're fine with looking over your shoulder once every few seconds. Yeah, I don't want to know what's this. Let me check my reflection. Everything looks good. Okay. In the following clip, someone appears to have set up a camera on a table pointing at the kitchen entrance. The reason as to why it was set up there in the first place is unknown. But later in the video, it becomes clear as to why it was there. Watch this clip and see what happens. Okay. First of all, very good narration. Because the way he set it up freaked me out. Just him saying those words was freaky. If you, if you watch this video, uh, be careful if you watch this video. You might be looking over your back every couple of seconds. So I, you know what I thought? I thought the guy was like doing whatever he was doing. And then something just appears from like, like around from the back of his shoulder or something. Every now and then kind of thing. That's what I expected. So good narration. But like that, that thing running if they, the, the way you said, like, you know, they set it up because bizarre, possibly they had something already happening. Why would you put a serial container thing, right, blocking the camera view, and then ice cube trays and this, that, and the other? Just clear the place. Clean it up. View, feel the view clear. The camera can see everything. And then record, like, why would you stick stuff in front of the camera? It just. Oh, God. It's like, um, maybe I should open up, um, like, a school. <laughs> a ghost hunting, trapping school. Uh, okay, guys, get your camera. Now, place this here. 
anything obstructing the view of this camera, clear it away so that if a ghost does appear, you get the best view possible. Maybe set up multiple cameras, one there, one there, one behind. Yeah, at least there's two people there. Surely they have two cameras. Could have had two angles on this apparition, shadow person, whatever the hell it was. Reddit user Bestabox states that there have been multiple strange occurrences that have taken place at his work. However, most of these occurrences can be explained. Yet, this incident, which was fortunately captured on camera, is one that he can't explain. Maybe it's an actual ghost. Best of Us believes this, as according to the bar's history, a married couple and their kid were found dead in the building during the 80s. On top of that, according to a few stories, there have been a couple of people who have taken their own lives at this place. As you can see, Best of Us is leaning more towards the paranormal side to explain this. I would too, given the history of this place. But what are your There's history on this planet Earth. <laughs> Just because somebody died in a particular building, people have died all over this world. You know what I mean? Like, why, why is it that the ghosts appear from like 1980s, 1800s? Like, there were people around for thousands of years. Where are the ancient ghosts? You know what I mean? Don't say the demons or whatever. But the other thing is, out of all the bottles on, the, on that shelf, what, first of all, why do they have cone heads? Anyway, out of all the bottles, it picks the one that can be seen like on the sh like shelf. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I don't understand the mind of ghosts, I guess. But yeah, it gets angry. It, it like puts all the effort in to make it travel to the edge. So let's do it this way. Puts all the effort in, makes it go like right to the edge. It's like, and he just like chucks it. I don't know. Who cares? Your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching and until next time. Subscribe to this guy. I'll do it now. like his video too. Some good stuff in there. What did I think of that video? I think it was a lot scarier um, than the one I saw before. And also, I think the narrative was a lot better. More believable in some cases, not all. I feel like I'm becoming a critic and I'm, I'm not critique, a critiquer, a critic, um, even though I don't really know this genre that well, I mean, I'm just a, I'm just a casual, is it believable, um, I think it's scary, somewhat, believable, that's an ask, <laughs> uh, I'm wearing these, it was a fun watch. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a good time. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.